One of the things I love to do when I'm out in national parks or in areas of the Southwest where you can find this is rock art. And there's all types of rock art. Now, most Native Americans really don't consider this art as much as they do writings. These are sacred places. And it's so important that we realize that when we go to look at these, that we don't touch these uh, images because you can destroy them. Even though they're picked into uh, rocks, they're still very fragile and you wanna take respect with it. There are two types that you can look for. One, which are much more rare, are the pictographs. These are painted onto the surfaces. And then you have the petroglyphs, which are much more common, which are pecked or braided in on the rock. And the rock that you usually find the petroglyphs on are a desert varnish. Now, desert varnish is a oxidized manganese and iron, and it leaves this nice black, dark sheen, which is great for pecking little designs and imagery onto the rock and these stay forever. I mean, if, if we leave them alone, uh, they can stay for thousands and thousands of years. One of the most interesting is the Barrier Canyon style. This was first described by Polly Shaftson in her rock art book of Utah in 1971. And this art is primarily found in the San Rafael Swell and the Canyonlands National Park in Utah, though you can find it all the way into Colorado. And it is of the late archaic time frame, 1500 to 4,000 years ago. These pictographs can be amazing. They're life size. And there's one site that is up by Thompson Springs in Utah that has two different walls of huge ghost-like figures. They're eerie. Some people might even think that they're extraterrestrial. They're so odd in the the way their eyes and shaped and horns. And again, these are life-size figures. No doubt the medicine men were involved in making these and they were a sign. And if you had come to that area, you would know to be careful to stay away that this was a very powerful area. And quite frankly, I can still feel the power when I'm in those areas. One of the easiest places to view pictographs from this Barrier Canyon style, which again is 1,500 to 4,000 years ago, is at Courthouse Wash, which is just north of Moab. In fact, you can see it from your car if you have binoculars. And it's not only the Barrier Canyon, but it also has some Pompeloan pictographs that are on the wall. Other Barrier Canyon style pictographs can be found on the way into Canyonlands with large ghost-like figures illuminating the wall. You have to remember that these are easily damaged if the ledge above, which is protecting the painting, is ever destroyed or wears away, then that's the end of the Barrier Canyon style pictographs. One of my favorite and fairly easily accessed petroglyph sites is a place called Birthing Rock. This is north of Moab. It's this giant boulder that's just kind of had fallen down probably a million years ago and laying next to a stream. And you can see on the rock this panel of a woman having a baby feet first, as well as other imagery, snakes and humans and animals. They're all in there. And it's not only the uh, Fremont people, but it's also early Puebloan and some Ute art as well. Petroglyphs can be a variety of imagery, symbolism, as well as animals. You'll see sheeps of different types, some that are very well designed and you can tell they're a sheep, and then others that are very stylized, almost in a block formation. You'll often see snakes as well. There's humans many times with jewelry adornment, not unlike their Puebloan ancestors, as well as anthropomorphic figures often in a triangular style. Some have horns, others are very almost deity-like, and they can come as in many variety as there were artists. Also, you'll find spirals. In places like Chaco, these have been used to detect when the summer and winter solstice is, when a light slashes through the spirals. You'll see this commonly on almost all petroglyphs throughout the Southwest. So I do hope you come out to the Southwest and look and find petroglyphs. They're very well located in many areas and they're not hard to get to. But remember, do not touch these. These are not only history and art and writings, but they are religious in nature. And if we do things like touch them, and in the past you'll see old graffiti that was put on them, this destroys it. And it's destroying not only the great history that we have, but it's destroying something that's part of us.